Oh, hello, Internet. Today we're going to install a rear rack on my wife's bike. Uh, she's been asking for me to, to install one for a little while, so I have a couple parts bikes in the backyard, and I'm going to rip that off and install it on her bike. Let's check it out. Shift it through all the gears. Rip it up dirt and crush it beers. No one here's getting medals. Life is pretty neat when pounding pedals. Well, this is one of my parts bikes. It's a CCM Villager from God only knows what year. And I'm sure it's every bit of a piece of shit is what it looks like. But anyways, uh, I took this rack off. Um, basically, I had to cut it off because the bolts were too rusted on there. So I had to take the old angle grinder and hammer this guy off. You can see it's been cut down there and grinded off. The other ones came off not too bad. This bike, I uh, don't think really has a name, but it's basically like the more modern version of that villager out there. I don't know, probably only marginally less of a piece of shit. But it was cheap and it works. The rack on Amber's bike here, and you can see how it doesn't quite work because this piece right here is rubbing into the springs of the seat. She, her riding position's like pretty much maxed out on the lowest end. Um, but even if I raised it up a little bit, it still doesn't quite fit. So what we're gonna do is cut this section off right here. That way we'll be able to get it to fit and have like a pretty sweet rack on this bike. We got the rack and the clamp here. We're gonna use this bad boy to saw it off. Nee, nee, nee. All right, I guess I'll go over my uh, personal protective equipment here. I got this handy dandy face shield. And I also got my handy dandy safety garage Crocs on. Safety first, baby! All right, we're gonna grind that down now and make sure it's not cutting fingers or puncturing holes in liquor, you know, the important stuff. All right, well, as you can see, it fits significantly better now. Just need to move this back and down a little bit. Uh, maybe bend it a sl slight bit there, but no more interference there. Just got to uh, take a file and smooth those top pieces up a little bit and then install this. Put a little bit of paint on there just so she doesn't look too homeless when she's riding down the street. Can't find a bolt that fits that thread. So I'm just gonna have to go the old fashioned way and just use a nut and bolt to secure it on there. That was a bit of a tight fit. You can see the bolt in here, right in there. And it's just got enough clearance for that chain to be on the, uh, the highest gear there. It's a little tight. Okay, we got the back put on here. Now we'll move up to the front part where it's actually got a, uh, it came with some nice rack screws here already into the frames. So that'll go on, you know, quite a bit easier. There was no lube on this screw. You know how I feel about no lube. Well, that's it. I got the rack on there. Let's go out and give it a test drive, see how it works. Old CCM rack on newer CCM bike. Let's do it. Ow. All right, come and show me the basket. 
I'll check out what's in your basket any day. <laughs> Would you like to have a drink later? Right Some that, bubbly. Is that, is that alcohol? Oh, yeah. It's liquors. The best liquor. kind. In my basket. Well, now we got two ways to get the good stuff. That's enough of whatever that was, so I guess just figure it off, Lucas. Mm -hmm.